aperture. I tried to create the atmosphere of that particular place. Each borough has different character. And I was thinking, oh, I already covered about four boroughs. <laughs> Why don't I do all of them at the same time? They said, Jeff, can, when can we do this book? I said, can you give me two years? <laughs> so that was 2012, and now we have book out it's two years. When I was a student, I was doing my internship at Banknam. So I went through all their contact sheet. I studied them. And the only conclusion is, I won't be any better than them. They are already there. So you need to figure out a new way, and you don't want to step on someone's shadow too much. Uh, I, I try to figure out a way to shoot, so which I use my, uh, my way of processing to make an image by stitching, composing them together. So for me, I blend with different shutter speed and different times of day, different lighting, and the, they all mix together. I shoot it, then spend two weeks in the, my digital darkroom. Uh, from early day was three full frames of 8 by 10 then later on when I was shooting the stadium, I was doing 20 8x10. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, <laughs> I keep telling myself why I need to make myself so miserable. And then now, uh, when I go out to shoot, I probably shoot maybe 500 files. And I will pick maybe 20, 30 of them to play with them and join them together. When every time when I start a new project, I will start with a new camera to challenge myself. Uh, you operate camera differently, so you shoot differently, and you think differently. I think things will change and more interesting the other, one way or the other, which is life. You cannot always hold on on something, but photography can keep that moment forever. Yeah.